Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how I made this April highlight spread in my bullet journal. April was such a good month for me that my one highlight for the month at the start of my bullet journal wasn't enough, so I made a whole spread to sum up all the good things that happened in April. So if you would like to see how I used my HB Sprocket to make this spread, then keep on watching. <music> First, I am showing you how I used the HP Sprocket app. So I started out by selecting the pictures that I wanted to print out and one by one started to edit them. The HP Sprocket connects to your phone via Bluetooth and you need the app in order to print pictures. I started exploring different frames but I didn't really find anything that I wanted. So I went to the stickers tab and found this banner and then just typed in the text that my contract for my job in Hong Kong Disneyland got renewed and I put a pink background behind the text just to make it pop. In the next few pictures, I will just let you see how I edited them but for most of them, I just used stickers and text to describe what was on the photos as well as editing some of the brightness and saturation. I am still playing around with this because the HP Sprocket doesn't exactly print the colors right so I used those settings to adjust them and hopefully get a better print. If you have any questions about the HP Sprocket, just drop a comment down below and I will gladly answer them for you. As for where to buy one, I don't know if I can help because I am in Hong Kong and I got this second hand but I will try to find an Amazon link for anyone who might want to buy it. I was happy with all of my edits, I proceeded to just print the photos and waited for them to finish printing. Perfect timing to have my paper run out so I can show you how to change it. So you have to start by putting in this blue card that comes with each paper pack in order to recalibrate the printer and from there, um, after you put in all of the paper, it just prints right away.
photos were done printing, I tried to find the layout that I find look the best. And before sticking in the photos, I found this very cute washi from my stash that looks like postage stamps and I thought it looked really cute and matched the theme of this spread. And then I stuck in the photos in the layout that I chose. And by the way, the HP Sprocket paper does have a sticky back, so you can just peel off the little paper at the back and just stick it directly into your journal. I was going to finish up the spread here, but I decided to add some more decorations using these stamps from Everyday Explorers Co. to put some labels on some of the photos. I decided to also use some of my planner stickers. So for my vaccination, I used this syringe emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. The Happy Girl sticker is from Craftrina and the gymnastics emoji is also from the Coffee Monsters Co. Next, I took this piece of washi tape to make it look like I stuck this picture with the piece of tape. And I put in this beach day script sticker from Once More With Love. All of the products I use, I will link down below in case you have anything in particular that you wanted to check out. This love sticker inspired by Dirty Dancing is from Once More With Love as well. And this birthday hat sticker is from Mixy Cat Stuff. And that finishes this spread. Here is a closer look at this highlight spread. I'm really happy with how it turned out. This is the first time I did a spread like this for memory keeping and I absolutely love it. And I loved using the HP Sprocket to make this spread. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!